What's up guys, Monthly Black of Cheese Review here for our Halloween special. So today, what I'm gonna be doing, because it's Halloween, is gonna be something a little different. Uh, I'm cl still classifying it as a cheese, even though it is meat, unfortunately. I know I have a big vegan vegetarian like following, but I'm sorry this one isn't for you guys. But, so what I have today uh, is head cheese. Now, I know it looks like a meat, but as it's called a cheese, I will be covering it as a cheese. I will be rating it once as how it tastes as a cheese and the second time is how it tastes independently of that. So how a head cheese is made and why it's called head cheese is because normally what they do is they take like the meat of the head, like the stuff like the tongue. Normally they take out the eyes, the ears, but they jelly the meat and then they add everything else that isn't normally added with regular meat. So this isn't any of the normal stuff you get. Like I said, it is called a cheese, so I will be reviewing it today for Halloween. I thought it would be a nice way to go about things. Now that the history lesson's done, um, this is gonna be from, it's uh, Sharps. Uh, I don't know if any of you've been in upstate New York. It's Beeville area, but it's a local kind of thing. So we're gonna give this a try. Let me just open it. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna look at is it has a, um, you can see all the different cuts of meat they've used that they've added. Some parts of it, as feeling it, are like firm, and other parts are more soft. So this is gonna be like a really weird kind of thing to chew. Um, I'm gonna let you guys know how it tastes. This is cooked, by the way. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's not actually as bad as you would expect, but I'm also gonna say that because I didn't get like a hard piece like I'm feeling right now in my hand. I did get a bunch of soft pieces. It's different, I'd have to say. Um, there's a porky kind of taste to it. So first we're gonna rate it as a uh, meat or just independently, but I actually don't mind this one bit. Um, I don't think I would eat it if it wasn't for you guys, but it's not something I would order. It's not bad either. I think the only reason that really turns me off to it is what it's made out of. Like I said before, it's jellied meat. Um, but overall, it's not a bad taste. Um, not really finding anything wrong with it, per se. As a cheese, um, kind of sucks. But that's to be expected because, it, like I said, it's not a true cheese. It's a it's just called cheese, but I'm still reviewing it. Um, it does have kind of a fattiness to it in between the different pieces of meat that they have. I assume that's what the jelly is. Um, it's not really bad. It is firm when you bite into it. Uh, you do have to put your teeth down on it. You can't just, like, break off a piece with your mouth. you got to tear into it. Um... Overall, I'd probably rate this independently as head cheese. Uh, it's about a six, yeah, just because of what it's made out of and this hard spot that I'm feeling right now that I really think is just cartilage. I don't think I'd enjoy getting that in my mouth. I think it would be really tough to chew and finish. But as a cheese, probably three out of ten, as expected. You know, it's not a true cheese once again. Uh... Let me guys know if uh, you've ever had this or you feel like I was wrong in the comments below. Monthly Block of Cheese Review signing off.